All right, welcome back to the channel, YouTube fam. Definitely been quite some time since I made you guys a video. So I thought to make up for lost time, we do something fun for you guys. The wife and I, along with two of our really good friends, drove out to Fruta, Colorado for the weekend. This weekend I actually plan to knock off my first UTMB trail running race here at the Desert Rats 50K. My wife and I actually just got our bibs at the main park here in Fruta and just doing a little shakeout run right now. Nothing too serious, just trying to get the legs moving a little bit after a long taper week and then a long drive out here. Never actually ran or really done anything around Fruta to be able to come out here and do a race for you guys and kind of do something a little bit different. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> Good morning everybody, good morning. And welcome to the 2024 UTMB Desert Rats 50K out here in Fruta, Colorado. It's about 6.45 a.m., about 15 minutes away from start time here at the Hawkeye Trailhead. And uh, just can't wait to get this one going for you guys. Got a beautiful sunrise coming over the mountains right now and just doing a little warm up. About to go back to the start line and get this one going for you guys, but just so excited. First big race of the year. Supposed to be a beautiful day. If that sunrise is any indication of how the day is gonna go, we're gonna have an awesome day for you guys. We just can't wait to get some new views under our belt, explore some new areas that we've never been before. Let's have us a day, you guys. gang just under three miles in just got to the top of this little butte over here this beautiful overlook and the race started on pretty well i was a little too far back and once we got kind of all congested uh after like a first mile we had to make our way up this single track which we're still technically on and it was just so congested a lot of people but popular race definitely see why but I think it's gonna start opening up in the top here let's check out these views on the other side All right, gang, a little over five miles in. Finally got past that. Well, I'm still in the single track section, but finally got past all that congestion. It's kind of funny, like you start all together on this one single track coming up here. And then out of nowhere, I think I passed like one person and then just like open up completely. There's no one behind me, no one in front of me. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Just absolutely loving these views out here, out here in Fruta. I mean, just so pretty place I've never really came before to go trail running or hiking but I mean it's somewhere in Colorado that if you come to and you have time 
I would highly recommend it because it's just so pretty out here, but just love doing these races. Gives you an opportunity to kind of come to places you've never really been to before. Travel, just so much fun. The people in these kind of races too are just one of a kind. Everyone's just running along together, you know, cheering each other on, giving each other some motivation. Just something unheard of from a lot of other sports. That's why I think my wife and I just absolutely love trail running and the trail running community out here in Colorado, especially. Just so cool, but I'm gonna quit talking to you guys. I think our first aid station's coming up, but loving every mile. Just finished up our lap after that first aid station at the Rustler's Loop. Now I think we go back near the aid station and then we go up on these cliff sides that I guess is pretty close to the edge on some of these peaks but I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty excited to see some overlooks. Spin move. at the 14 mile marker guys out on this loop here next to the rustlers loop i can't remember if we're on the coco pelly loop or rustlers like on a side trail but man we just went down on the side of these cliffs and now it just opened up and you can pretty much see pretty much the entire colorado river running along here and just so beautiful signs like these that make you just not want to stop just keep moving just keep moving. Woo! Water, bro? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Get some knack in that bad boy? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, no, the trail? This way. <laughs> it's about that time of the race where we don't know where we are. That's all good. Thank you guys so much. Is there a trash anywhere? Oh, yes. Okay, awesome. I didn't want to throw that on the trail. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, appreciate it. Love me, love me. Say that she love me. Fool me, fool me. Go on and fool me. I don't care anything but you. Oh, camera's still on. Whoops.
All right, gang, we're just a little bit over that halfway mark on right, today's 50K. And gotta tell you, the sun is in full force now. So I'm starting to really feel it, especially in the legs and my lower back. But God, these views out here are just so epic. Makes you just wanna not stop, or at least if you do stop, like right now, it'll make you walk really fast. Like I said, the wife and two of our friends, Melanie and Nathan, are running the half marathon tomorrow. And I just can't wait for them to come and enjoy all these views out here. But she's warm. She's warm. It might be spring out here in Colorado. But when that sun comes out here in the desert, it's hot. Keep on running till the sun goes down. Run now, love it, run now. Leaving an aid station, one of the toughest things you'll ever do in a race. You just want to stay there for hours and hours and drink everything that's cold. Back on the trails, I don't think we have another break for a while. Let's get it. over 24 miles coming up to that last aid station before we got those last miles coming up but it's getting tough guys it's getting tough almost there i love you guys oh, yeah. nice work. Uh, nice. wait i'm not done yet um i want a knack in this one thank you Got it. Thanks, honey. Yeah, tonight, ice bath, ice cream. Okay. All right, you guys, that was our last eight station stop. And you got about four miles left. Got this long uphill. And I think after we get to the top, we just come back, crank down. But it's just so good. Like that last eight station, it's awesome. Eight stations are great. People there are awesome but especially when you got good friends and awesome wife hanging around, giving you motivation, just keep you going. Because honestly, when I got there, I did not know how I felt about even just this hill right here, but after seeing them, this four miles doesn't seem so bad. first 50k of the year it's been a tough day not gonna lie it's so fun just giving us a great opportunity to come up to fruit with our friends experience place we've never really been too much before but I'm just so excited to cross that finish line best part of any race finish line time baby Woo! Yeah. 